is the chief economist at ADB, uh, and she joins me now. Great to have you with us. Um, look, we are slowing, but uh, still growing, as Rahel Solomon said. But the question becomes, is this still an inflationary report? We've ascertained that the consumer spending, the consumer is still sitting in a good position. Um, and inflation is still elevated. It's not where the Fed wants it to be. So how would you then define this GDP report? Well, it does show consumer resilience. Consumer spending increased by 3.7%. At the same time, as was noted in your report, inventories took a back, step back. That meant inventories shaved 2.6% out of GDP. So what happens when demand outstrips supply? Well, you get inflation. And that's what you saw also through the quarter. Inflation was higher in the first quarter of this year than in the fourth quarter of last year. That's got to be a concern for the Fed. And it's a concern for the consumer because there's only so long, and they've run a really fast race, but there's only so long that the consumer can outrun inflation. And um, that's the concern heading into the second quarter of this year. I mean, the argument is here that consumers have remained resilient. They are still spending despite price increases. Um, and then you say, look, how long can the consumer keep this up for? Um, what is your prognosis about where we're headed? I guess if you look at where inflation is right now versus what we're seeing on growth, there is a worry because there's a big mismatch. The key to all of it is the labor market. And what we've seen in the U.S. is a very strong labor market. Three and a half percent unemployment rate that rivals 50-year lows in the unemployment rate. We're also starting to see people come back into the labor market. So the labor force participation rate is continuing to edge up. That's good news for folks who are worried about wages outstripping prices, which leads to even more inflation. So as long as the labor market can hold steady, that's good for the consumer. The question is, is it enough? Is it enough to get inflation back down? And that's, that's yeah. the worry that the Fed is having right now. Um, and that's a really good point. I think on the, on the economy generally going forward, another thing that people are worried about, and economists have mentioned this, just what effect will what we've seen in the banking sector start feeding through into the real economy? Are you putting that down as a possible scenario that we're still, you know, to see what will happen in, in, in terms of real impact? Well, we know the name of the monetary policy uh, playbook. Mm. It's called interest rates. And with the bank fragility, there is under lying that is higher interest rates, which we know to increase borrowing costs across the board for consumers and firms. And that is, even with episodic events, it is part of the way monetary policy works to slow down the economy. So the idea that credit would be tightening or becoming more expensive is part of the slowdown in economic growth overall. Um, if the Fed is trying to engineer lower inflation, the pathway for them doing that is higher Higher interest rates. So yeah, we expect uh, borrowing costs to continue to rise as long as uh, the Fed continues to hike rates. I, I want to talk about something that perhaps um, you know we were not so worried about anymore. The big R: Are we going to be slowing to the point of recession? Um, and here's the thing: If you've got aggressive rate hikes, you don't know if you've done too much of it. You know until it, it actually reflects in the real economy. Uh, what are your scenarios in terms of heading into um, a dismal um, recessionary environment going forward? Yeah, I, I think that we can still avoid a recession. A recession is defined not just by two quarters of negative GDP growth, but the depth uh, and comprehensiveness of that slowdown. And there's still some sectors that are doing well, as signaled by the earnings report we've seen just for the quarter. I think the interesting component of this uh, is the speak around the recession. This has been such a well-telegraphed, talked about uh, slowdown in the economy. Uh, but generally, economies do take these episodic dips every three to four years. The last expansion was the longest in the U.S. history. And so the idea that the economy can continue to hum along is not far-fetched. In fact, it may be the case that the economy continues yeah. to grow, but more slowly. The 
bigger issue, in my view, is the path of inflation. Because if the numbers are not going in the right direction, that could lead to all kinds of problems we don't want in the yeah. economy, like an economy that's slowing down as an inflation is picking up. Yeah, stagflationary environments. Uh, Neela Richardson, great to have you on. Thank you so very much Thanks. for joining us.